We're now on step three of your bariatric surgery journey at weeks five and six, the soft food diet. This is a menu that's going to transition you into your new lifelong diet of solid or regular textured foods. It includes easy to chew and easy to digest foods such as cheese, ground meats, fish, tofu, veggie burgers, toast, berries, and cooked vegetables. Start the soft menu only if you're not having any major issues with the puree menu. On this menu, we're continuing with the same eating structure of three meals and two to three snacks, including one daily protein shake. You're now starting to eat close to up to one cup of food if this is comfortable, but if you're having less, it's also okay. As you introduce soft textured food in this menu, take a moment to recognize how the change in texture makes your stomach feel. You'll probably now find that eating with a fork is more appropriate for most of your meals, but be sure that you still keep your mouthful small. Bites of food should be cut up into tiny pieces as small as your pinky fingernail. This is the first phase when you're starting to chew food again, so be sure to chew your food well until the food is a puree texture in your mouth. Otherwise, if food is poorly chewed, this can lead to a lot of discomfort or pain mid-chest after swallowing. You likely won't tolerate all the foods on this menu the first time you try them, which is normal. Everyone progresses a little bit differently. If a food feels uncomfortable, set it aside and try it again prepared in a different way a few days later, or when you feel more comfortable enough to try it again. For example, if you don't tolerate ground meat as meatballs, next time try ground meat in shepherd's pie or in tomato sauce. Adding a dip or sauce can make some difficult to tolerate foods more comfortably tolerated because moist food is generally better tolerated than dry food. For example, add some tzatziki to your salmon or barbecue sauce to your meatloaf. You may notice that some of the foods on the soft menu are no longer measured in cups. Some of your food is now measured in ounces, like cheese and fish, which means you need to be using a food scale. It's important to use a kitchen scale instead of eyeballing or estimating your portions. Be sure to weigh food only after it's been cooked. If you tolerate this menu one week into starting it, you can consider safely progressing to the solid textured menu. However, if you feel unsure or if you're still experiencing a lot of discomfort with many choices on this menu, it's better to continue the menu through to its sixth week. If you're having major tolerance issues, speak with a registered dietitian for help. For the soft textured transition menu, tips for tolerating each food group and for more detailed instructions on what to eat and how to eat during week five and six after surgery, refer to the content provided to you.